Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's right down below. And please don't forget to click on that little bell. That way you can get notified every time I upload a new video because YouTube has decided to do this weird thing where even if I upload a video, it will not pop up on your feed, even though if you are subscribed. So please make sure you click on the button and yeah, you'll get notified. Anyways, today we are going to be doing a first impressions review on the In Love With The Coco by Kylie Jenner, yes. And of course, this is how the packaging looks like, but this is Chloe's um, signature here. So she did collab with Chloe. So this packaging is really nice and simple and it has like rose gold like glitter on the outside and let's open it up. Okay guys, so inside here we have three mats and one gloss. So let's go ahead and get these out. So this does retail for $40 if you buy it as a bundle, but if you buy it separately, then it is $17 a pop. All right guys, so here are the three matte shades here, and here is the one gloss. Now let's see what this claims to do. So I am currently on the website here, and they literally just restocked this probably about three days ago. So yay, it is in stock guys, if you are interested. Remember, I am not sponsored. I did not get this in PR. I bought this with my own money, and I'm also not a beauty guru, so anything that comes out of my mouth is my own personal opinion. Yes, and let's see. It says, for the matte liquid lipsticks, it says online that Bunny, Doll, and Baby Girl have a high intensity pigment for an instant bold matte lip. Okay. The extremely long wearing lipsticks contains moisturizing ingredients for a comfortable and silky feel that does not dry your lips out. We will test that because I will be doing a wear test. Yes. And the gloss Sugar Plum is a soft shimmering gloss that glides on the lips smoothly and evenly, leaving behind a luminous and voluminous effect. That was a tongue twister. Luminous and voluminous, but the baby girl. But yes, that is what it claims to do and we will be testing it out. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started with this first impressions review wear test swatches. That was long, but anyways, let's go ahead and try the three matte shades first and then the um, gloss. So I am preferably a matte shade girl, hence why I wanna do the matte first. Anyways, this is how the packaging looks like. It's very cute. So this is how the wand looks like. Very nice. All right, let's test out the color doll. Ooh, girl, look how pigmented. Back to swatching. <laughs> okay, guys, so here is the first layer for a doll. It is pigmented, but I feel like it's a little bit streaky, so I'm currently letting it dry down a little bit. And then I'm gonna apply a second coat, but let me go ahead and get close to you guys. So if you can see, it's just a little bit streaky. All right, now let's go ahead and apply the second layer. All right guys, so here is the color doll and this is the second layer. I waited for the first layer to dry down and it is unfortunately very streaky on me. I don't know why, but let me go ahead and give you guys a close up. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is streaky. Like, I don't know, and it feel, it looks very patchy. I don't, I don't like it. I'm not, I'm in love with the color, but it's just streaky and it's not cute. Yeah, I don't like it. But for the color doll, it is a true bright tangerine color. All right guys, so moving along with Bunny.
Um, it is a cool mid-tone mauve and this is how the swatch looks like with the first layer. It is already dry. It will look a lot better on like more fair, like lighter skin tones. But let's go ahead and go on to the next swatch. Third and final matte color that comes with this bundle is Baby Girl. Let's go ahead and swatch. So here is the first layer for Baby Girl. It is dried down and it is very, very streaky. I hope that you guys can see this because it is so streaky. Now let's go ahead and do a second layer. Alright guys, so here is the second layer for Baby Girl and it is very, very streaky and all of the matte formulas for the Cocoa Bundle, I am not like liking. It feels very drying on my lips. I don't know if other people have experienced. Remember, this is my own personal opinion. But as of right now, this color is insanely streaky and this is the second coat. And yes, I waited for the first layer to dry and I am just not loving this bundle so far for the matte formulas. So yeah. This color is a like warm coral. So let's go ahead and swatch the last one, which is a gloss. All right, guys, so on to the final color, which is a gloss and is the color Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum on my lips. This is the only gloss in the set, and it is a like shimmering mid-tone nude gloss it is pretty and i think that it would work very nicely if you put it on top of another like lip color all right guys now it's time to give you my final thoughts on this bundle here unfortunately i am not going to be doing a wear test because i am quite disappointed in these products like even if i wanted to wear it out i really couldn't because it was so streaky like and it felt uncomfortable on my lips for some odd reason it felt just too drying for the matte formulas so i will not be doing a wear test i understand that i said i was going to be doing a wear test in the very beginning but if something makes me feel uncomfortable like in wearing it throughout the day i'm not going to wear it so anyways the color doll was very streaky even with two applications the color bunny was also very streaky and the color baby girl was also very streaky i can already tell that these are going to be long wearing because it was a pain to take off like i sat here for i don't know how long scrubbing this off so these you can i can already tell that they are going to be long wearing but it was just uncomfortable on my lips it just felt too drying and it came on streaky so in love with the Coco Bundle, I do not recommend, I don't love it. If I had to pick one thing, I would just pick the gloss, which the gloss is Sugar Plum. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please remember to click that little bell. And yeah, you guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at OMGIsTiffany24. Bye guys, I'll see you for the next video.